I don't know if I'll financially recover from this. So yeah, I usually like to spend the first 30 minutes or so of my day catching up on news, seeing what's happening in the world. I read a combination of English news sources as well as French news sources. This is really important for a university student. It's very easy to just be cocooned within our kind of protected environment and forget what's happening outside. And I also think that knowing what's going on really gives you an edge when you're trying to participate meaningfully in class. All right, now I'm done with news. I'm gonna get started with schoolwork. Wish me luck. Apparently his uh, ex-girlfriend is working at uh, Apple Orchard and he is now considering buying an iPhone. An iPhone. I'm not considering, I'm, I'm straight up here. I value convenience way higher. And like, even if I go to Bangkok, right, it's going to be 300 for the flights, but then you spend on the food, the accommodation. I agree. The ping pong show, you know, it, it all adds up. I just get it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not encouraging impulse spending, but I'm encouraging impulse spending, so uh, yeah, sure. spend. Uh, something yeah. adventurous. I don't know if I'll financially recover from this though. Because this is this this looks like a good number. It is a good number. But in each city there's a few numbers that have to go through, you know? That there's is, the taxis, that is true. there's the hotels, there's the visa fees. Yeah. Which uh, the person holding the camera right now never has to worry about. So you know, sometimes it's actually better to go for the second cheapest option as opposed to the cheapest option. You enabled me to buy something impulsive and so now I will enable you. Why didn't you just click the button? No, I'm not clicking the button. Hi there guys, yep, I'm technically still in class, but Mark and I are now heading to the Apple store because he has made the impulsive decision of buying a new MacBook today, so we'll bring you along. So I got the Cordon Bleu and Mark got the Salmon Beef Wellington. Very nice. He's still setting up his iPhone and there's a Christmas tree in October. Welcome to Singapore. So, quick review of uh, Paul Bakery. How do you feel about it? It's not okay. We paid, uh, how much did we pay? 37. Oh, actually, never mind. That is okay. Because we got one for one, but the actual prices were like... 29.30. Yeah, like $30 for like one of those meals that was really, really small. I don't think it was worth it. But I guess with the one for one, it becomes a pretty okay meal, even for a second. Why don't you smell this one? Okay, smell it. 
How does it smell like? I don't like it. You like it? I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's my grandma. <laughs> Why are you running away? <laughs> We are at the Nespresso shop. Mike wants to get some new coffee for. Uh, like, what kind of new coffee do you want? Yeah, just some, some basic stuff, uh, trying out some new collections. Which uh, machine do you have, actually? I have the, the basic ones, right? So, exactly this one in black, yeah, I have like five of these at home. Why? I don't know, like one for every room, no? That's not how it works. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so we're just gonna do this and then quickly take the train back just to save a bit of money because we took a cab here. Thanks for broke. Or not. I got some cheese and some bread. Got Terence some food as well. So we're just gonna wait for the bus and get back. It's been a long day. Bye. So I did some re editing of uh, some footage that I got maybe two weeks ago. I wanted to apply some of the new editing techniques that I've been learning to, to this old footage and seeing if I could produce better results. If, yeah, I'm getting better at this. I'm very excited. So now I'll be doing uh, some of my homework for the week. Uh, sadly, even though I'm having a lot of fun with YouTube, I still have to finish my assignments on time. So let's see if I can do it. Hi there guys, it is currently 1.36 a.m. I'm kind of wrapping up my day. I had a couple of calls quite late. It's not really unheard of for me to stop my day at around 1.30 a.m.-ish. Uh, I have a few calls that usually happen towards the end of the day, um, usually with my team members that are based in the US or my team members that are based in Europe. I'm quite a night owl, so I usually just try to have the meetings during a convenient time for them instead of, well, them waking up extremely early for me. I also try to dedicate most of my days to schoolwork and uh, my other things here in Singapore. So yeah, uh, I wanted to record this video as a sort of intro and also to motivate myself to speak to the camera more often. Hopefully it's an interesting week and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you think. <laughs> 